So yesterday, I kind of hurt a little bit my back. Um, I went on the walk with Kitty, and it rained a little bit, and the grass was wet, and it was a little bit on the hill, and I slept. But I catch myself, so I didn't fall, which probably should have fallen. It would be a better. Uh, it kind of like really like hurt. Uh, so I put some heat, you know, relax a little bit and I was hoping that this morning will be better, which is better, but I'm really stiff this morning. <laughs> so it's kind of like, take it, take it slow this morning, that's the, that's the team. After uh, three, is it three years? Yeah, I think three years of being vegan, I finally found a vegan hot chocolate, which the only thing just doesn't contain any milk. I couldn't find any, and I find out the winners, <laughs> which is the funniest part. <laughs> they have a little section with like pasta and, and food and like I was like I come winners sell food and I was just like it was just one small aisle and I just walk I was not doing anything and I look and I was like what we get our chocolate <laughs> I'm in <laughs> um, that's good that's all right well, it's not as creamy as I remember but of like actual hot chocolate but it's it, it, it's all right <laughs> just put a heating pad on my back this is mm, van life game changer <laughs> life game changer but I used the heating pad for so many things in the van when I didn't have a heater and just wanted it to be warm I had the small little portable battery and that was my little treats uh, Kitty was using it once in a while too to get warm when we didn't have the heater and when you hurt yourself or things like this like today feels good um, today I didn't really have so much plan for the video other than I thought we would go outside and enjoy this beautiful weather uh, but that's probably not gonna happen <laughs> I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I, you know, we're not gonna go for a run. We're not gonna go bungee. <laughs> uh, not that I plan to do all of this, but um, when I hurt myself before on my back, when I started living in the van. So the first, I think it was like probably three or f three months that I was inside this van. Um, did it was a high top at that time? Yeah, I think it was brand new high top. Yeah, it was. Uh, so I put the high top after, yeah, two or three months after that I purchased the van. And I hurt myself really, really bad at work. Um, this little back pain here, probably tomorrow I'm going to be alright. But the other one that I had, I was in pain, barely able, seriously, barely able to walk for six weeks. It was a really long one. Um, and because I just purchased this van and purchased the high top, my bank account was really low at that time. And it happened at work and I couldn't go, we have like a worker compensation, which is a kind of like, ins not insurance, but if you hurt yourself, they pay half of your income things like this but you have to prove that I've been at work and because I was working by myself they just like they were asking questions and like no I didn't, didn't want to pay me and I didn't at that time I didn't want to argue like when you are in pain it's just like you're done you know what I mean like I was just like tired of all the things and the phone call and try to prove try to prove things and uh, all of that and so I kept working 
which obviously didn't help. That's probably why it took six weeks to get better. But I was in pain, guys, like really, really bad in pain. And people, I hear that often, like what you do if you're sick in your van. And I got sick the other day, you know, sick. <laughs> uh, did I was this week? I think so, uh, maybe last week. You just stay in your van, you just relax, you are at home, you know, you do what you have to do and that's it. When you live in the van, it was the same. We are such a small distance between my bed, which is just behind you, my little desk over here, sometimes that I sit, in the kitchen, in the bathroom, everything is there. I have like five steps to do and I can do all of this, so I didn't have to walk. Um, and five step out in the front and I can drive and I can park in front of like a grocery store and I can park in front of like a drugstore and all of this and get all my stuff and not having to walk a long distance I don't have to come from my house all the way to my car and do all of this um, and I the only thing that was little bit challenging if you are in a sense is obviously you don't have I don't have a shower here and I don't have on-demand water so what I was doing I was buying which oh I do have because I didn't go fill up my water <laughs> I was buying those little um, those little water bottle four liter yes four liter water um, that was the only thing that I could lift at that time I was not able to lift my bigger water jug so I was buying that at Walmart and I remember Kelly needs some cat litter and that was super heavy um, no cat food cat litter was buying the little lightweight but uh, cat food and I asked the guy to just help me and and put that on a shopping cart and and yeah, it turned out like to be okay. Like I, I was, I didn't find that it was such really dif more difficult to be injured or to be sick inside my van compared to a home. So I decided to uh, go for a little walk outside. Maybe just moving a little bit is going to help me a little bit. My back is doing better than this morning, so we have some improvement, guys. <laughs> uh, I think I think going for a small little walk is going to be it's going to be good. It's great, but oh my god, that it's cold, guys. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I think we're gonna make it back to the van. <sighs> it feels good to come back in the van. It feels good too to get out of the van too as well. Little walk. That's all I needed to not spend the whole day inside the van, which is quite often super easy, injured or not. Um, it's just super easy to stay in the van sometime and just because we can just move and drive and you know and barely have to get out of the van to do our stuff um so yeah it's is a very like quiet video but hey sometime you know sometime this is what we do <laughs> we just relax we uh, get better and you know we move on like I said, my injury of my back is not crazy. 
and is far, <laughs> far better than what it was a couple of years ago when I really injured myself for six weeks. That time was really bad, but a injury in your van is not the end of the world. You just have to manage a little bit differently, maybe than inside the house. Um, if you know, to my boyfriend injured himself <laughs> with his legs a uh, couple days ago, week ago now. So yeah, <laughs> we are old couple, old couple. <laughs> All right, enough talking. I'm gonna let you with Kitty, who's enjoying the little bit of sun that we have. Are hey, you? Are you doing? Yes, you. You? Yeah, what are you doing? Kiss? Oh, oh you know. You know they like your kiss. Yes, they like it a lot. Thank you. They really, really, really appreciate. I appreciate too. It is fun. That's another kiss.